Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silver, and today I wanted to film a video with a New Year's Eve eye look. So when I think of New Year's Eve, I think of bold and dramatic and black and glitter and sparkles. So I wanted to do something really cool and I wanted to just focus on the eyes today. I finished um, my makeup minus my eyes. So I've got foundation on, I've got my blush, my bronzer, my highlighter. I did my eyebrows, which is why I might look a little crazy because all that's left to do is my eyes. So with this eye look today, I was thinking like, like a big wing, but glitter and I have this um, matte glitter that I recently got in one of their holiday sets and it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see but it's it's kind of like a iridescent purple and there's almost like a rainbow hue to it. It's called pink hologram. I have concealer and then like translucent powder on my eyes and that's it. So I'm just gonna go in. This is creme brulee by I believe Makeup Geek. Let me look. Yes, creme brulee by Makeup Geek, it's like my go-to base color. And so I'm just putting this all over just to give us a good base to do whatever we want. Um, things are gonna get kind of dramatic here, so I want there to be like a powdery base so that nothing is transferring and we have a clean slate to work with. What I'm also going to do and this is a step you can use anytime you're doing like a dramatic eye look. I'm gonna take some loose powder. And I'm just gonna like cake it on under my eyes because we're gonna have fallout and we're gonna be messing with glitters and I don't wanna ruin everything I just did on my face. So I'm gonna start with this e.l.f. creamy eyeliner. And I don't think I've used this on camera before, but I've had this for a while and it's really good. I just don't think I have the right brush to use it and I need to get some new um, eyeliner brushes. Um, I need one that's more, that's like thinner and sharper. So I don't ever use it for wing liner, but for this occasion, I think it will work. So it's very, very creamy, it's black, it's smooth. And this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom you in. So I take this little tiny defining brush and I'm just getting a little bit on the very tip. And I'm going to start off like I'm doing a really big bold wing, but it's basically basically going to be like my whole eye. So it's like the whole eyeshadow is a wing. I don't know if that makes sense, but it will in a second. Can you dance while shoot? Can you dance while shoot? Can you shoot while dancing? Can you move while shoot? I'm leaving somewhat of the tail out because I'm going to go through with a liquid eyeliner and kind of make that winged out a little more so i want the very tip i guess the the wing i want that to be black now this half of the eye is where i want to put that glitter so i'm going to leave maybe i'll do a little more I'd say these look pretty even and that is a good base to work with. So what sucks about this creamy eye or this creamy eyeliner is that I haven't used it enough to know if it really like dries down so it is gonna like transfer on your eyelids so be very careful try not to put a whole lot on and just work slowly. Um, it can get messy. And that's why I don't use it that often because I don't have a good eyeliner brush. If you know of a good eyeliner brush for cream liner, please list it down below because I, I don't want to keep buying these eyeliner brushes and then none of them work. So I want to get like the best one. So I need to do my research. We want this glitter kind of in the, the front half. I want the base for this to be somewhat of a similar color so this really pops. This shade is called Magical Magenta. And I've used this before, and it's by Morphe. Um, it's not really magenta, it's definitely like a lavender, so I kind of was, I thought it was a different color online, and I was like, wait, did I order this? It's kind of purple. But um, it's still really pretty. So I'm gonna pick that up on a little packing brush, and I'm going to 
spray it with some setting spray just to get it a little wet. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of this wing. And it's going to meet the black. Now this is gonna look messy before it looks good. So don't give up at first. Just know that there's gonna be a lot of blending and a lot of defining steps to make it all come together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back in with a liquid liner. Um, this is my go-to liquid liner. Um, it's Wet n Wild's Mega Liner. I use this all the time. Um, this is going to be a lot easier to trace around our wing and make it more defined. That gel liner was kind of, it's easy to pack on and it's easy to do a lot. This is so small that it would take forever to like fill in this big space. So we're going to make them a little bit bigger and we're going to bring the wing out and make it more defined. Can you dance with a shirt? Can you dance with a shirt? Can you shirt while dancing? Can you move with a shirt? Can you shirt while dancing? Can you dance with a shirt? And this liquid liner does dry, so it's nice to kind of go over the edges and you know this is gonna dry and it's not gonna smear. Now there's like a tiny bit, I don't know if the camera will even pick it up, but my wing isn't perfect on this end. So what I'm going to do is take my little like concealer defining brush with a tiny bit of concealer on it and I'm just going to go right underneath this wing and just make it as sharp as possible. So that is a good start. I think that looks so cool. It's very dramatic. When your eyes are open, it just looks like you have a wing, but like when it's closed, it's clear that it's like your whole eyelid. I think that looks awesome. So now it's time for this fun little glitter. And as you can see, this is not a super hard look. It's pretty easy, but when it's all said and done, it's gonna look fucking amazing. So these glitters are kind of difficult, um, especially the glitter, because it's chunkier and it gets everywhere. So it comes in this little vial. There's a tiny little plastic cap that you should not throw away. It looks like this. It's very tiny and especially with these long nails it's very hard to like get a hold of and keep a hold of. So you take that part off and then you're just straight glitter. So what I like to do sometimes I'll have like a little like dish or something. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and go like this. Um, that I think is the best way because this glitter is so messy like pouring it out is just sounds like a terrible idea So I have this glitter glue and it's by Too Faced. It's called shadow insurance and The best way to use this is to put it on your finger like so and It dries pretty fast. So what you want to do is put it on the area that you want the glitter and we're just gonna do one eye at a time so that it doesn't dry. So we're gonna put it all over this purple shade that we put down. And it's nice and sticky, you can see. And then with that same finger that I applied, I'm gonna put it like this. And as you can see, there is glitter on my finger. And now we are just going to apply it to the glue. Now this part gets messy and you're going to want to go over it a couple times to make sure that there is a lot of glitter stuck on the glue because if you have extra glue and there's no glitter on it, like it's going to get sticky and gross. Wow, that looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to go do the other eye. 
You could really do this look with like any color glitter, like a silver glitter would be awesome, a gold glitter, anything would look really cool. I also have like a black shimmery glitter. Um, I just haven't used this glitter yet and I really wanted to try it because it looks so cool. That concealer brush. I'm going to wipe it off on this makeup remover. Um, it's going to wipe off like whatever makeup you had on it, but it's also going to get the bristles kind of wet. And then with this, I'm going to flick off like any glitter that's not really where that eyeliner was. And just try to make this look more like defined. And it is going to be hard because this glitter gets everywhere, but if you can kind of keep it right where the liner is, that is the idea. Wow, this is so cool looking. I'm going to take a little pencil brush and with some highlights, I'm going to go in on that inner corner. So there's like a tiny bit of pink where I couldn't get the glitter because of my nails. And I'm going to take this Moonchild palette. It's like my favorite highlighter palette. And I'm going to take this purple. It's called Purple Horseshoe. I mean, you really don't even need lashes because this eye look is so awesome that lashes are going to cover up the first half of the glitter. They're going to be able to see it as well. So if you have long curly lashes, I would skip falsies. I do not have the best lashes, so I'm still going to apply fake ones. Since that black line doesn't go all the way into the tear duct, I'm taking um, this Kat Von D liner pen and I'm just going to do like the tiniest, tiniest little line. So that when I do apply lashes, you can't see where they start. And for the inner waterline on the top, I'm going to use this Arden CN black liner. This is just like my favorite eyeliner pencil. It's so black and it really like stains too because the next day my waterline will still be black. And then I will apply lashes and change my shirt and come back for the final look. Figure out what lipstick I'm gonna wear with this as well. Okay, this is my final look. Uh, the lipstick is by Bite Beauty in the shade Black Truffle. It's definitely like a very, very dark purple, not quite black, but it looks like it to the naked eye. I thought it complemented this vampy look and it definitely makes the pink glitter stand out even more with the dark lip and then the dark eyes. I think this look would be so awesome for New Year's Eve. I'm definitely gonna wear something similar. I might switch up the lipstick. Um, you could definitely do like a purple to match the eye. You could do straight black. Um, I think anything will look good with this look. So I hope you guys go out and try something similar. It was so easy. You could do multiple shades of the sparkle in the inner corner. I think it would anything would look good with a black wing. Can you not meow right now? Thank you so much for watching my channel. My name is Silver again. Please subscribe and click the bell to get notified every time I upload. I will see you in my next video. Please comment down below and tell me what you want to see. I love reading comments. I love hearing suggestions and I will catch you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. shade squid ink wait no squid ink is more blue this is black truffle pink sparkle can you not my cat like going crazy i'm filming hello jeez